Time in. Zero, zero. That's it. But now Emilia Schmidt starts this on her serve. Oh, there wow. comes the animosity, big brother. Point. There we go. That's the Aussie I was hoping to see. And that's what we're getting. Screams in the air for joy. Uh, it's, it's truly game on, guys. It's truly game on. That fist pump. That was missing. You want to see that energy from the Aussie. And is she back? Point. She's got two points on the trot in the second game. And Chinmay on his feet. Point. Going her way. And like Emilia often does. She mounts that comeback. Point. Within a point from Amelia's three uh, to Sophia's two. Point. Point. That is on offer for 52 weeks. They have those points valid. Will be a massive factor going into the PWR Dupa India League for every point critical. Out of reach, but unfortunately, I believe out of bounds as well. If you take a look at that replay, you see how Emilia chooses to come in, chooses to take the initiative but costly not too happy with that light call he's having her time with the man on the screen fired in and he's, he's convinced and he's quite clear about the call this is Sanzan if it was me I would not mess with uh, Byron but we see the second review been taken again uh, quite quite quickly and uh, I feel that Amelia is uh, is wrong here I think that ball was in that she uh, that she was so badly hoping is actually out. Uh, we see here, you can see the, the images on your screen. There we go. Keep your eye on the right side of the screen. Start that is glued in. Wow, that's clipping the line. I can say a percentage on the line, 99% out. But in this sport, even 1% in is 100% in. That's the beauty of this sport, whether it's tennis or pickleball. Even a 0.1% of the ball landing on the line is a 100% in call. Aggression? From way back there, but not really aggression, but it is Ilya who believes what she's right now the ball She's convinced that out. And you wouldn't want to blame her because a large chunk of that ball was looking it like was it was. Side out. Point. And now the frustration very visible, uh, not the kind of error you would expect her from Amelia, uh, specifically after the kind of game she's had, specifically after the first game she had, um, unfortunately seems to be losing her concentration and focus here as Point. Sophia takes advantage of that, calmly turns around letting Amelia make all the mistakes and be frustrated, um, I think fantastic ploy there by Sophia, maybe he's trying to take a toll on her. Slap that inside Hello. out for and Sophia saving. They're charging into the kitchen and you don't see Emilia Schmidt so lost on a pickleball court. That's how dominating Sophia has been so far. I'm going to make a prediction right here, buddy. I think the winner of this game for me is the winner of the tournament. I haven't even seen the next quarterfinal, but uh, that's a big prediction. You know I like to put myself out there, so uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's my prediction right there. Quite a bold prediction, that one. But two points away from winning this quarterfinal, Sophia Seving charges in. And it's like she's seeing the pickleball as big as a basketball at this moment. She's making it look so easy and effortless. Point. Everything that she's doing right now is just so perfect. 
Sophia Seving, take a bow. You're playing the pickleball of your life. And maybe now I can really understand why you pick her as her if she wins this as the winner of Ten three. the entire women's singles contest. As you're saying that, I'm starting to stretch and warm up game, already because match, uh, 11, I'm going to have to so run Sophia. down to introduce the next athlete coming up. Uh, that's the end of that. And uh, another game that hasn't gone to the third set. Uh, something I wasn't expecting. And I'm sure Sarthak wasn't either as Sophia goes out champion of the quarterfinal. Cements her place in the semis as Amelia. Well, don't hang your head down. Stick, it head, uh, stick your head high because uh, you've played like a champion. You really have.